Now, the former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Lamido Sanusi II, has advised politicians to make an impact in the country if elected, as the post is intransitional. The 14th Emir of Kano, who has also predicted that Nigeria will face more difficult times in days ahead, particularly in 2023, is therefore calling on Nigerians to be ready to take tougher decisions in the interest of the country. Addressing a gathering during his private visit to Babala Adeni of Egbaland, Tayo Shomi, who clocked 80, Sanusi maintains that he is not eyeing the presidency. The most important thing is that we should continue to pray to our country that whoever emerge as president, governors, senators, members of the house, chairman, leadership at all levels, that we get good leaders. And I think that we should also remind ourselves as Muslims and as citizens that we owe it to ourselves because we know that this country deserves better than we have been giving ourselves. He, however, pleads with Nigerians to vote trusted and competent individuals into elected political positions in the next general elections. In 2015, we were in a depot. In 2023, we will be in an even much deeper hole than in 2015. The challenges facing all those people who are struggling to be president, I hope they understand that the problems they are going to face are multiples of the problems that were faced in 2015. And all of us have to be ready for difficult decisions. And if they're not taken, we're all going to pay for it. But the solution is not for all of us to jump into politics. This country needs polit good, good politicians, it needs imams and pastors and bishops who are going to stand up and remind them of the fear of God. It needs technocrats who are going to critique their policies. It needs traditional rulers who are going to speak as the conscience of the people. Everyone has a role to play. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.